Ok. Ah, uh, ok. So, my Isabel and I have been making homemade pop bottle mouse traps. We made one yesterday and used it overnight and in less than 24 hours we've caught four mice in it. So today we're making two more of them. One of them is already made, the other one is in the process and I want to show what we're doing here. It's very easy so that other people can make these kind of traps. So uh, this is a trap that's completed and basically it's comprised of a couple of pieces of two by four and um, and a pop bottle and a little bit of coat hanger and some screws and washers, right? Okay, and this is how it works once the mouse goes in for the bait. Like, and when it goes drop here, whoop, it's trapped. Yeah, the weight of the mouse in the front of the bottle will hold the bottle down against the blocker, yeah. right? And then when it gets here, it, um, and when it goes back, it still does it. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so if the mouse goes to the back of the bottle, the bottle tips up, but he's not by the opening. If it goes toward the front, tips closed. And this is all just held here <clears throat> by a little, this in this case, a hair clip. You can use a bulldog clip. You can use a paper clip, any kind of clip on that side um, to hold it in place. And that's how you take it off, too. Of course, you, you just tip the whole apparatus up and remove the clip, pull the bottle off the wire. The, the sides are too steep, too high for the mouse to just jump up out the hole and you can carry the bottle to wherever you want to carry it to release the mouse. So um, I know that the small block is two and a half inches. Um, I cut them at two and a half inches. And then the bottom block is, I forget, 16 inches. All right, so you got 16 inch piece of two by four, two and a half inch piece two by four. Um, you put this screw and washer here at five and a half inches in from the back side. You, you have to drill holes in the bottle on either side of the bottle about a quarter inch in front of where you figure the balance point of the bottle is. And the way that you figure the balance point of the bottle is you just put a pencil down and you put the bottle on the pencil until you find where it's best, where it's almost balanced, right? So <clears throat> it's a little bit of a, nothing, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. It just has to be such that that the, the wire goes through at a space that's a little bit um, in front of the, uh, the balance point. So, and the wire pieces that you use, basically two pieces, this is coat hangers. So this one is eight and a half inches when you start it, and then you bend it at the five inch point, and then you bend it at the one inch point to create this little <coughs> loop. And that loop is what you hook behind the washer. And it's adjustable, right? So if you loosen the, the screw, um, then you can adjust the height of the main um, wire. And then you got this other little piece here. This is a five inch piece that is bent at one inch on one side, one inch on the other side, and then in the middle, that's the piece that holds this bracket uh, close to the bottle. And again, it's all adjustable. It's about an inch and a half in this way. Mine, I just measured up to the bottle itself. So, and you can always, you know, tinker around with things. You basically just got to get it set so that so that it's tipping like that when the mouse gets in there. And um, yeah, we found it's a very good trap. Yep. Like super good trap. Yeah, it like completes and completely um, traps the mouse. Yeah, we're, we're trying to get rid of our mice in here. They, the mice that we have here figured out how to get out of the commercial versions of the live traps by reaching up and pulling down the teeter-totter door that locks them in so they've just been going into our traps and stealing our um, bait and climbing out during the night but uh, they can't do that with these ones we're finding so this is a really good trap if you want to um, <coughs> catch some mice and do it um, in a humane way of course i fed a bunch of mine to the snakes but <laughs> and, and and what if the way they can escape is by working together
That could be. They got to be communicating. They got to be telling each other the secret to the trap because they all know it now. Yeah, so this is a much cooler trap and it's a good kind of project to do with kiddos like yeah. this one. Yeah, and this one is kind of dirty because the mouse was. Oh. No, this is the new oh, one. Oh, that's the peanut butter. Yeah, you put the little peanut butter bait. You just dip your finger in the peanut butter and put your finger in here and wipe it on the bottom and it kind of slides away and the mouse will uh, work his way into that hole yeah. uh, to go lick the little bit of oh. peanut butter. And when he does so, he is trapped. Yeah, and and um, and the way he can get into a small hole is just by putting his ears down. Mm -hmm. So, that is the secret to the mice, say, get a medicine.